Welcome to Mabbitt Antique Auction Gallery. We're very excited about our annual Carolina Country Store sale in 2021. It is scheduled for September 16th, 17th, and 18th, beginning each day at 10 a.m. We are offering online bidding for about a thousand lots. We approximately have around 4,000 lots in the sale. Our gallery will be open to the public. For safety precautions, this year, we will be requiring face coverings and masks when you enter the gallery. We are very excited about the first day. Day one will be September the 16th, beginning at 10 a.m. We will be selling about approximately three hours on uncatalogued material. That material will only be for the customers that are in-house. One o'clock, our featured bottle catalog session will begin. We are very excited about this. There's been a lot of talk a lot of uh, information, a lot of calls, a lot of emails about our bottles. This year, lot number one is the rare, important Mountain Dew Party Jug with original cap. It has been inspected, it is in mint condition with a beautiful ACL paper label and original cap. This is lot number one. You may view this online as well. Lot number two and three in the bottle session is extremely important and rare. We have two bottles in lot number one, the white lightning amber, also the diet lightning amber ACL bottle. After consulting with experts, they have not seen this bottle before. That was lot number two, also discovered at the Burnett Bottling Company. Lot number three is an important North Carolina brand out of Salisbury, North Carolina. It is a cheer wine with the clusters of embossed cherries on the front, side and the back side. Very rare and important bottle. We have a number of other brands here in the soda pop bottle session, as well as whiskeys, early ale bottles, soda water bottles. Look closely, we have all these, are all our featured bottles in the front showcase. As well as these bottles, we'll be selling uncatalogued bottles prior to the catalog and after the catalog from the middle showroom. We'll be going into the store jars beginning at 4 p.m. Store jars has always been a part of our country store session. We're offering about 45 in this year's session. We have a nice selection of Planters Peanuts, Lance, Taylors, Lays, and other brands. We have one extremely rare one in our front showcase that we've only seen one other since we've been here. Here we have the featured store jars, lot number one and lot number two. Lot number one we've only seen one other time here in 35 years. It is the first Lance packing company Charlotte North Carolina jar. Look at the tapered sides, the embossing with the original lid. Very rare. Lot two is what we call a side loader jar with an ACL label, a ply cutter label titled Baby Bath Wool Soap. This jar here we've never seen. The last jar we've only seen one other. We're very excited about the apothecary session beginning at 5 p.m. These articles come in from a retired plastic surgeon, also the Patterson's Mill Pharmacy Museum in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. The show globe here that is uh, lot number 62 is approximately 100 to 125 years old. This was a permanent fixture at the Patterson's Mill Pharmacy Museum. Store jars, show jars, apothecary chest, these wall units and behind it, these are original old pharmacy interior cupboards. A wall full of wall cabinets here displaying the apothecary bottles. Mabbit Antique Auction Gallery is very proud and honored to be representing two major collections here in North Carolina. One coming from Eastern North Carolina, a 50 year collection. The second collection is from the collection of Tom Gray out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Also, there was another discovery of Tobacchiana at the Patterson's Mill Museum. Lot number two is one of just a handful known to exist from Durham, North Carolina. 10 litho, pocket tin, genuine, Durham smoking tobacco. Very rare and important tin. Every lot deserves to be recognized. I'm gonna point out just a handful of highlights. We highly recommend you to view the catalog. There are several possible one of a kinds. We have pocket tins, cloth bags, tin humidors, trays, paperweights, displays, cigarette pack displays, and a huge important collection of camel material from Mr. Gray. Also we have out of Chapel Hill is the Roly Polies. Here at the bottom, we have original cast iron tobacco cutters here. We have boxes, we have new old stock, we have a number of unopened packages of cigarettes. Also included in this event, these very important signs throughout the catalog. Framed tin litho signs, cardboard cutouts, 
uh, paper signs, and just a number of wonderful pieces. Also, we have a number of desk articles. If you look closely at the Zeppelin here, you have the nautical theme, a rare, extremely rare sewing machine, cigarette dispenser, also a guillotine, smoking pipe holders. We have cigarette dispensers. We have the extremely rare stone litho print for printing whale chewing tobacco and whale smoking tobacco out of Winston-Salem by R.J. Reynolds. In this case here, lot number 22 is an original 1915 countertop tin litho die cut camel display pack. Here we have several rare early slide boxes. Slide boxes would have held possibly a baseball card. This here is the, called Carolina Brights. It's from Wilson, North Carolina. We've never seen one of these. It's an original cigarette slide box and a number of other important tobacco items. We advise all tobacco historians, collectors, and of interest in tobacco items to view this catalog. There was one sign that came from Mr. Tom Gray's collection is the extremely rare, only a handful of these are known to exist, including R.J. Reynolds has one in this archives in Winston-Salem. It's in the front showcase and it's a beautiful artwork, horizontal porcelain one-sided sign that is lot number one in our catalog. This could be extremely rare. We had calls coming in from San Francisco, California, uh, circa 1903 to 1904, tobacco advertising silk. Lot number is 220. John is excited about Saturday, September the 18th. We have never seen so much good Pepsi Cola, Mountain Dew, and other soda pop, gas and oil, drink machines, gasoline pumps, toys, store fixtures. This is overwhelming. We've had the main gallery is full, the middle showroom is full. We encourage you, please go online, view the items, set up phone bidding, absentee bidding, or please come and, and we'd love to have you in the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna pick out the one of the oldest pieces. I'm gonna try to go through this because there's so many pieces. This here is possibly the oldest Pepsi Cola item that we have in the sale. This was in a vault at the Pepsi Cola bottling plant in Roxborough. This is an authentic, real Pepsi Cola diamond paper label. It is in our locked showcase here in the front gallery. I'm gonna take you to the Pepsi Cola corner right here. There's Pepsi scattered all over the building, but I want to just uh, focus real quickly on some of the objects here that are highlighted. You'll see signs that we cannot find anywhere online. Here's one in an outline and a wrought iron frame that is a one-sided sign. Look at the team bottle display. This is six foot tall. We found these in the attic inside of a huge cylinder that had never been removed from. We have early Pepsi Cola machines, countertop machines, new old stock 7-Up. We have 10 litho signs. We have hanging light fixtures with cups. Look at these. We have a leaded glass Tiffany type over here. We have an extremely rare display over here that needs a little work. It is a display bottle that lights up. It has a fan in the bottom that blows snow out and the top and bottom lights up. Pepsi Cola, again. We have dispensers. We have light up signs. There's other menu boards. This is a mechanical piece that rotates. Here's a great early ice chest here. Look at the paper poster. Two-part 1930s Pepsi and Pete poster here. We've never seen anything like this before. We have it stabilized under two pieces of plexiglass. We also have new old stock Pepsi signs hanging above our gallery. You have the rare new old stock marquee Pepsi Cola thermometer. Jukeboxes, advertising tins. Here in the front center of the gallery, we have the Mountain Dew sign. Authentic, real, from the early 60s, self frame tin in near mint condition. I would rate it a 9.5. The paint is in beautiful condition. You can see yourself when you walk by the sign. Jacobs, model 26, professionally restored drink machine. Came in yesterday. We have late arrivals arriving daily. Mm -hmm. 35 years, I've only seen one other 18 inch jumbo dial thermometer. Lot number 235, gas and oil collectors. We do have things for you as well. We've got gasoline pumps. We have original gasoline globes. Porcelain signs, 10 litho signs, traffic lights, beautiful United States tires by the U.S. Rubber Company. That is a porcelain single side of sign that's near mint condition. Here we have a number of coin operated gambling machines, original slot machines, and several of these do work. Late 19th, early 20th century countertop displays such as diamond die cabinets, 
JP Coach spool and cotton cabinets, peerless dies, original coffee grinders with original paint and decals, store bins. Friday night attendees, look at these thermometers that are not cataloged. Those are selling Friday evening. Saturday also has a number of great Coca-Cola vending bottle machines, a Vendo 27, Vendo 39, and several other ones here. Also an early glass cock here. For your Pepsi Cola collectors on the featured wall that Jose put together, you've got an early Pepsi Cola squeeze bottle over here. It says, here's health. You have a very rare Holcomb and Hoke mechanical operated popcorn machine. This comes out of Durham, North Carolina that was in a drugstore around 1915 and it's totally original. Look at the glass globes, look at the interior, all original. This also came out of the Patterson Mill Museum. Also said we have a number of showcases. Probably the prize is this one here. This is lot number 246. It's the Darby & Co. out of Baltimore, Maryland. To sum it up, we have a multi-thousand lot auction Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There will be approximately around 1,100 lots catalog for online bidders. We encourage all of our friends and colleagues to view the sale online. You can absentee and phone bid. We look forward to seeing everybody. Also, the uh, parking lot trading will begin daily at daybreak and will close at 945. There's no trading after the auction begins. We hope everybody is safe. We look forward to seeing you at this year's country store sale. Thank you.